Welcome everybody of all ages to the Catch Number Carter Show here on YouTube. Thankfully, thank you so much for having a free platform to be able to post my show. And if this is your first time, welcome and thank you for checking us out. Today I have an awesome guest, a really cool subject we're going to talk about. And let me just give you a little breakdown real fast. Um, my family and I, we moved out here uh, to Rochelle a few years ago. And when we did, we came from um, Duran slash Evergreen Park and then Rockford for myself. And we moved out here not knowing much about Rochelle. And uh, we instantly were greeted by a lot of really awesome people. Um, we've seen it on Facebook uh, when people have a problem, they need a place to stay or need a helping hand. There's within a few hours, there's 20, 30, 40 comments, depending on the topic, where people want to help you. And this whole community is so helpful and so happy uh, for the most part. Um, there's always some things that go wrong, right? But um, this community seems to be very, very uplifting. And one thing happened, we we're having kind of a rough day. We didn't have a lot of money and we we're just like, I don't know, we we're, we're on a walk. And one of the parks we went to, I think it was Cooper, we found a little rock that said, be kind. And, um, oh no, actually that time I think it said, uh, be happy. And we found another be kind one later on, but we found four or five throughout town. But there's a little, on the back, it's really nice painted rock. And on the back it says Rochelle rocks. And when we read that message, I, I don't know, at least for myself, it, it brightened my whole day. It's like, you know what? I'm not going to just be down. Let's just try to be positive. So, I mean, I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm amused by little things, but something so small like that can hold, like change your whole day. You know what I mean? So I definitely, I definitely love this. So the fact that we get to interview here, it's, uh, I'm excited. Um, I also want to make one little side note uh, about something I've been thinking about out here. Um, I've been thinking about it. There's been some, some sad things have happened not far from us here in Rochelle area. And I think about the police department. Now, I know that some people uh, disagree with police departments and they, they have, have a feeling about, you know, on law enforcement. But I want to say this, that uh, the police are humans also, just like if you and I. And um, some of these people, if you could just say, hey, thank you for what you do, or just, you know, Give them a second when you see them and just say thank you because you know what? Some of these guys have been seeing some really sad things lately and uh, I think everybody needs to, you know, just to pass a little positivity along, you know what I mean? So please do so if you can. But anyway, so in a few minutes here, we're gonna get to Rochelle Rocks, okay? Do me a favor, do our family a favor. We are on YouTube, on Instagram, Catching Up with Carter and fam. We also have like six other Rochelle uh, or um, Instagram accounts. I have Rochelle Train Graffiti, um, Rochelle Railroad Fan. I have Radar the Pit Mix, my Radar Pit Mix dog I have, our family does, and then our page itself and a few other ones. So check us out on Instagram and also hit the subscribe, share button on here if you could because we only have 74 followers or 77 and we need like 4,000 to ever get monetized so if you could do me a favor and do that I greatly appreciate it help us show us some love if you could so before we get to Heather and I'm excited for this interview let's play some music like I always do this time I'm play some uplifting modern reggae by Eric Rockme from Revolution he's the lead singer also the band Iration is who has the song and also Stick Figure is featured so here's right here right now an uplifting modern reggae song right here on the Catch Up Carter show on YouTube talk to you soon
solution for me. Time to live in the present. You know I always have the chance to be grateful and count my blessings. That's right. You know we only got one life. So bring on the good times. I'm thankful, no doubt. Start with the here and now. Here right now. houses and Halloween our family does too if you do and you know about some haunted attractions why don't you tell our family comment the link down below and subscribe ring the bell for notifications and like and if you show us we will go there you may be lucky enough to see where you wanted us to go on a video if you had a haunted attraction near you in Iowa, Wisconsin, or Illinois, please comment the name of the attraction below as well as where it is located and we will do a video review. Welcome everybody to the Catch Number Carter Show on YouTube. Thank you so much for checking our video out. Today I have another very special guest. Um, I'm always very lucky to interview anybody about certain topics. And uh, I was explaining this to uh, Heather on the phone. I'm interviewing with Heather. Heather is a big part of Rochelle Rocks. And you wonder what Rochelle Rocks is and we'll ask her what that is. And I'll tell you a story on how I figured it out. Well, you might've heard the part right before this. But if you didn't, you will hear again on how we found out about it. But welcome, Heather. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for having me today. Absolutely. Now, tell me what Rochelle Rocks is. 
Rochelle Rex is part of a kindness initiative. Um, you might have heard of the Kindness Project. So what we do is we put messages of positivity on small rocks or, you know, even pictures. I like to do cartoons and put them on the rocks and we seal them up. We put our uh, logo on the back or we write something on the back that says, please post it to Facebook on Rochelle Rocks. Take a picture, you know, rehide it. And it's something it's something for the kids to do. You know, you find a little treasure and then you pass it along to the next person that may be having a, a bad day. Right. And I was going to say that oh, I mentioned that to you on the phone before we went on here. Um, that that's exactly it. We were we had moved out to Rochelle from Rockford and my fiance and her family uh, well, girlfriend at that time. But we we came from uh, she came from Evergreen Park and I came from Rockford. So it was a big difference coming to Rochelle and we were welcomed by a lot of really nice people. But um, we were having a rough day one day, didn't have a lot of money and whatever reason it was, we we're having a rough day. And we went to a park. I think at that point was I don't know if it was at Central or if it was at Cooper or where it was. Well, we we go to all those parks and we found a rock that said, be kind or be yourself. Or we found a few different ones since then. But when we found that, that little bit changed our day, that changed our mood. And we're like, you know what? Yeah, let's just let's just try to be find the positive things of life. And that's why I wanted to interview you. How long have we been doing it out here in Rochelle then? Well, you know, I, I'm a transplant too, but um, I didn't really start until um, right before my daughter was born. So probably like 2015. And it was just kind of a, maybe you find them, maybe you don't. I wasn't really organized. Um, there was a Facebook page that we've media changed over the, follow. over the years. You'll There's a couple different manager, administrators, but, um, Zena, yeah, it's been that long and it kind of, it kind of died off, but right before, um, home, right before they removed everybody from the, the, uh, COVID restrictions, it started up again. And I wonder how many people were getting ready. Were you getting some ready when you, you know what I mean? Like, were you at home painting them? Because a lot of people were stuck inside like us and we did a lot of arts and that's like really good therapeutic thing to do uh, just to paint. You know what I mean? And, and to paint the rocks and put little things on there, it means so much. But did you, were you at home painting a lot during 2020 and then going out when you got a chance or what? We started before that. So over the winter, you know, I can cover the table and the kids can coat the rocks. And then after they're dry, I write messages or draw pictures on them. And we had already started that. And then we got shut down in March. So we just, we went camping and we kept going and, and painting rocks. And then when they released us from restrictions, I got a hold of um, Jackie and TC at the rec center here in town and said, why don't we do something to put out all the rocks that we have? And she says, well, how many do you have? I said, well, just myself, about 1,500. <laughs> so we had quite a bit. Wow, 1,500 of them. And put them out at all of the parks as soon as they released us to like go back to the parks and be in public a little more. So, and then we just kept going from there. So if, and I noticed that I did look up a little bit cause I'm like, well, I saw that there was other places to do it, Milwaukee and a lot, a lot of other places do it. And I'm glad they do this in the worldwide thing. It said it was, uh, what's that? You would be surprised how far it goes. It's in 90 countries and it's considered one of the, one of the world's largest participatory art projects. Like That's so cool. Continuous art projects because it goes on, you know, I mean, I've not found one from another country, but ours have gone from Rochelle to other countries. And I want to touch base on that too in a second. Yes, I was reading a little bit about the Kindness Rocks viral trend is what it's on Wikipedia um, about, because I've heard of other things too. Um, some people have heard of Law of Attraction and, and there's a book and a movie called The Secret. Well, on there, they talk about a story about um, gratitude rocks, which is basically, this, in my mind, it's kind of like the same thing. You know, you carry around a rock, you find and and that's your your one piece you can grab when you're having a bad moment or you, you need something to remind you to you know ground yourself you know that's that that's the way i look at it but but we have one sitting on our ledge and i look at it every day too and it helps me out so 
there's a lot of ways to look at that. Um, what are some places, because I know I looked a little bit on Facebook, but how many or what other places have your Rochelle Rocks made it out to in the United States? Oh, they've, they've been all over the United States, a lot in Florida, Arizona, Wisconsin. Um, I think there's a couple in New Mexico. And um, quite a few have made it to, you know, uh, tropical destinations, you know, Punta Cana and the Jamaicas and the Dominican Republic. And the Alamo I saw too, right, I think? Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> just a little bit of everywhere. But, you know, you stick it in your pocket and you drop it. I had a friend that used to drop them off for me at the um, truck centers, like the rest stops. You know, right. If you're a kid you get out of the car and you're totally bored and you find this rock. How cool is that? Yeah, that's, well, I feel the kids in our family found rocks. Yeah, when, uh, look, look at these rocks, and we still have them. Like, we have a few of them around the house. And and I was wondering, now, I'm not very artistic, but for people that want to do something, like, can anybody join this group in Rochelle, or do you have to, do you have to have artistic talent? <laughs> no, no. We take anybody. Now, like I said, I started before my daughter was born, but once she was old enough to hold, hold a paintbrush, you know, we, you know, got the non-toxic acrylics out and she would just slather paint all over the rocks. Well, as soon as they dry, okay, all right, sissy, do we want to put kind or do we want to put love on this one? Do you want to be, you know, be happy? So she would tell me what we would want to put on them and I would write or I would draw on them after she slathered all her colors on them. So, I mean, it could be anybody, really. And one of the other administrators was doing activities in the parks and it was when I went to help her, it was all older folks. You know, we've had people from the nursing homes reach out to us and to do, you know, um, their activities to do them there. And once once or twice a year, I get um, different sponsors for rocks and paint and we do kids events. You know, the Girl Scouts help me set up everything and they teach the kids how to paint the rocks. And then once we're done and I have uh, things on top of them, I put them out at the parks. Yeah, that's, I love it. I love this whole thing. Um, I think it's great. I, I really do. I think it's great for, you know, kids and everything. We go back a little bit to the pandemic. Um, I noticed in our home and a lot of others with the the upscale or the 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 uplift of how many people are doing stuff on tv and their phone and their screen time that this is good just to take a few minutes out with your kids or your 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 loved one or your sister whoever and just bust out some music or whatever and 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 paint and uh pass on a positive moment that could really save some lives and, and I, I don't want to touch too much on this but that could really help differences in Rochelle you know we have people that uh, we've lost unfortunately to the train and, and maybe if they would have seen a rock right before or something maybe that could have that could have stopped you know what I mean and, and, and I know like I said it, it changed my whole mood one day seeing that and I know I'm not the only one because I've read some of the posts uh, on your Facebook page you know Rochelle Rocks and I, I saw a few people say this brightened my day this changed my day and that means so much in this time with all these school shootings and uh people sick and we need any positive movement we can take you know we've put them out at, we've put them out at the schools like after school's over um we've put them out to around the homeless shelter we've put them out around the food bank We've put them, we've given them to the domestic violence shelter to put out. Um, I know during the pandemic, um, you may have seen a lot, a lot of hearts in the windows, like people's windows when you were walking. Yeah. And that was a whole, whole other kindness thing that we did. But um, I participated in, in it here and I would put rocks out on my sidewalk. So if somebody came to see what was in the windows, they would find a rock. You know, I can't, I can't be physically in contact with you, but here's my message to you. Porch is a big rock that I found. It was just a chunk that I found somewhere, but it's painted for anybody that steps up to the door and it says, do small things with great love. Yeah. So my little one sees that comes in and out of the house. Right, right. And, they, and, and I remember little things like that too growing up. I remember those things when you get older. I'm 40 and I still remember little things like that. And I think this is just an excellent way. So tell me how, okay, you're a Rochelle resident, doesn't matter whatever age, how do we 
Because I'm guessing you have to join the group and then you can get the stamp or uh, how, how does it work? How does somebody join it? Or do you... Not necessarily. We have kids from all over that, that paint them and leave them. Um, when we camped after, you know, during the pandemic, you could go camping, you know, distance things. We put rocks out at one of the campgrounds that we were at and children there found them and tracked them back to our our site and said well we don't live there but can we do this sure as long as you put something on the back that feeds back to rochelle rocks so we can track how far they go and where the message is going right and i love that no they painted i know they painted well social the media there. that's really cool I, yes i think that's a great idea to do that and it just shows where you know people have been like you said um but yeah that that's that's really neat so just all you have to do is paint the rock whatever you want as long as it's positive it could be a phrase a picture or whatever and then also put rochelle rocks on facebook on the back right yeah i normally i put post pic to rochelle rocks facebook so if you guys imagine writing on that, you have to make sure you get a decent sized little rock when you paint it, you know, a nice one that fits in your hand, I'm sure. Um, is there a certain rock that you, you suggest that, hey, this kind of rock is the best one to paint that paint sticks to better or something? I don't know, just a random question. You know what, I pick up anything I can. <laughs> but uh, a friend of mine bought me a bunch of Mexican beach pebbles or beach rocks from like Walmart. Oh yeah, I've seen those bags. Yeah, flattest, smoothest things to paint and draw on, because I'll paint a rock a solid color, let it dry, and then freehand a cartoon or a message on it, and then I have very detailed paint pens that I'll write. Now you don't have to go into all that. You don't have to buy all that. You can, you can paint it and use a sharpie on it as long as you seal it. And it's not, you know, if you, you spray some seal coat on it or something so it doesn't come off, you know, you don't have to use very much. But I like I like painting and drawing and sketching little things on the rocks. So I buy the little paint pens to do that. But yeah, those smooth rocks. Oh, my husband laughs at me because I'll be walking through a parking lot and go, ooh, pick up that rock. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's cool. I uh, We went to Wisconsin um, over the, the summer and we went up by the Dells and we went to a little lake, I forget, Turtle Lake, I think it was called. But there was a little beach and a couple pulled up, a young couple, and they got out and they they were looking for rocks and I just asked them, do you guys collect them? They're like, well, we use them in our art projects. We paint them and we do different things. So I was like, oh, that's cool. So they, they make a, like a date out of it, you know what I mean? They go out and they do it together and they find rocks at different beaches and different rivers and creeks and just them two do that. And that's there's so many things you could do. You just gotta think outside the box. We're so used to just getting stuck to a computer of our phones or the, or you know, and you know, this is even on right now that people will be listening to it is, is on screen time, of course. So I can't knock it all the way, but it's so nice to just go outside and do something and, and pass that on. So do you have any events? Oh. Good balance. Yeah, good balance. Right, right. Exactly right. Um, so you have any events coming up? Because I did notice on there that you you guys have had some events, but that's you said that's your other administrator then? or I, I feel so bad because normally we do Rochelle Hay Days and we do a free booth for the kids. But this year, I like, you know, you were saying you have kids at home. I have a Girl Scout troop of like 40. 20 girls in a ton of activities and it just so happens that we are doing the free stem fest at niu the same day that they're doing hay days and we've already oh that's okay i saw that coming up yeah we've already got transportation and everything signed people have signed up to do it and i'm like i can't you know i can't back out it's already in motion you know that's okay what what is the stem days because i did notice that they uh we go out to decalb quite often because that's where our babies go out in sycamore so we have to go through decalb and plus we like to try different food that we don't have here in rochelle and stuff but uh, i saw that when we drove by niu it said stem days or something what is that it, well, it's STEM, you know, science, technology, engineering, and math. So right. different departments in the school. Now, let me backtrack. The first first couple of years they did it, they did it at the Convo Center. So it was just huge tables and booths and just, and it's a free event where the kids can go do activities and learn each, each what each department does. And last year, 
pretty sure it was last year when we went. Obviously, it was after the pandemic. So they did it outside on campus. Only certain things were inside. So the majority of it was outside. They had a weather balloon launch. Cool. They, the kids got to build uh, paper rockets and shoot them off. Nice. There's all kinds of stuff. And it's completely free. I that mean, sounds really cool for, for, for completely free. So, yeah, like I said, I can't backtrack out of it now to do the, the uh, um, STEM Fest or do the heydays. But normally that's we do a couple things a year. Um, one of the other admins, she'll do a couple things at the park. Um, I'll do stuff with heydays and the national night out or um any of the festivals that they do in the parks around town, you know, because they know we do it for free and the kids, the kids can come in and, and do it and enjoy, you know, hanging out and doing something for free. Um, but going back to what you're saying about, you know, finding, finding a rock and making the day of it. We, we will buy a big bag of just garden rocks from the Ace Hardware and dump them out and try to find the strangest shapes that we can. <laughs> to see you know pick up that rock like cloud like cloud searching you pick it up and you look at it is this going to be a dinosaur or is this going to be a piece of pizza right you know yeah so yeah we have a lot of fun doing that you know what, what do you think this one looks like i think it looks like a garden gnome let's put that on there you know and i have to put this out here because my my uh, fiance used to well i hope she gets back into it more but she does a lot of dream catchers and her daughter moira does all kinds of crafting and slime and stuff but I swear, for not very much money, if you want to go to the Dollar Twenty Five store, the Dollar Tree, you could get all these things that Heather's mentioning for twenty bucks. You probably get enough to paint rocks, to the brushes, the paint. Might maybe more like ten dollars, really. Yeah. But you could. It doesn't cost much, and once you have it, the paint stretches a little ways. I mean, I don't know. I can't remember how many rocks that we did the same thing because my mom had passed and. She used to paint her rocks outside. So what we did in our garden, we painted some rocks to put like a little row in our, our probably like 50 of them in our um, our garden in the memory of my mom. So it was kind of like that just without the words. Um, but we did put one of the Rochelle Rock ones in there. I got to take a picture of that. I put one in there. Yeah, it was part of the group there because it fit right in with it. We have like vibrant colors, bright neon oranges and purples and well, and it's glitter paint. There's like so much you could do and have fun with it. And any message is right. As long as it's positive, it could be something so simple. <laughs> Love one another, whatever. So, okay. Hello. This is Heather again. Right, hello. Have a good day, whatever. Uh, this is Heather again from Rochelle Rocks. Rochelle Rocks is a branch of the Kindness Rocks viral trend. It might be known as some other things. The Kindness, what'd you call it? Kindness? Kindness Project. Kindness Project, which people paint rocks and they paint pictures on them or they might paint... Um, you know, encouraging words, and then they leave it anywhere from doctor's offices to parks to museums to schools, anywhere. And then somebody picks it up, a kid or adult or anybody, and and it will it could change your life and and just make or at least change your moment and uh, give you a good day just to have that that positivity pass to you from somebody completely strange that you don't know who is. And you can do this at anywhere. Um, if you're going to do it in the Rochelle area, they just ask you to put Rochelle Rocks, you know, post the Rochelle Rocks Facebook page. But if you <clears throat> live in Rockford, Madison, Milwaukee, anywhere, if you look it up, I looked it up. She said it's one of the biggest trends there is. I mean, and for art and passing on this type of stuff. So uh, you'll see that an area where you live most likely has a group like this too. Now, if you live in the Rochelle area and you want to do it, like I said, paint some rocks. You can get up, get some from Walmart. You can pick some up in a creek or in the, on the road. You don't have to be picky. Paint a nice picture. Put a positive, mo uh, positive message on there. Excuse me, and just pass on some positivity. Hey, I really appreciate you taking the time out and doing this, Heather. Um, and uh, uh, you'll see us painting some rocks, and hopefully, we'll run into you guys out there. Oh yeah, and I'm sure if you're on Ro if you're in Rochelle and you're local and you want to reach out to somebody on the page, there's always somebody willing that's got the rocks or got some extra paint. It's a, it's a good community. Somebody somebody will help you if you want to join the cause. So I completely agree with that. I mean, that that's one thing I was going to say anyway off when I got off the phone, but um, I, we moved out here a few years ago, and I tell you what, I, I watch the Facebook uh, Rochelle page a lot, 
And when somebody posts that they need a help, a place, place to stay, money, a, a bicycle, I've seen so many different things. So many people, within like an hour, I'm seeing 10 comments. Within two hours, I'm seeing 30 comments. People make sure to help each other out here. This is one of the nicest communities, for real, that I've been to. Go ahead, what were we gonna say? If you get a chance, join Rochelle Friends and Neighbors. Yeah, definitely. That's how I found her. <laughs> That's how I found you. Yeah, yeah. That's, it's another one of them that I admin, so. <laughs> You're busy. How many other ones yeah, do you got? Exactly, exactly. Do, so, do you have other ones, too? What's that? Do you have other pages, too? Um, I do a the Rochelle Preschool Moms. Oh. And then um, the VFW Auxiliary page. Oh, nice. Nice. So, yeah, I got, my, I got my hands on. Oh, and I do the Girl Scouts Rochelle. Gosh, you are very busy. Wow. Okay. I got my hands on a little bit of everything. Like I said, there's somebody here that's going to be able to give you either paintbrushes or rocks or paint or there's somebody. The last activity was ran by the Presbyterian Church here in town, and I think during the pandemic they they were handing out little cups of paint and rocks and brushes. So I mean, there's there's always somebody that's going to help. Okay, well, there you have it, folks. Thank you so much, Heather, and I hope you have a great day. That's awesome. You too. Thanks so much. Yeah, no problem. Thank you for spending an hour of your time with us. Now, will you do yourself a favor? Check us out on Catching Up with Carter and Fam Show. Do yourself another favor and follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and Insta. Our dog's also up there, so you'll be doing yourself a third favor. And we'll see you next week. Toodles.